The Supreme Court ruled against Abercrombie and Fitch in a religious discrimination case. In the 8 to 1 ruling, justices say Samantha Eloff, a Muslim woman who was denied a job at the retailer for wearing a hijab, can raise discrimination claims without proving the company intentionally avoided hiring her because she wore a headscarf for religious reasons. It's a big win for um, the First Amendment. I think a lot of people would say it's a big win for religious freedom. Um, and it might make life a little bit uh, more difficult for employers who are, are looking to hire and not do so in a discriminatory way. Ms. Eloff complained to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission in 2008 after learning she was rejected for a sales job at an Abercrombie kids store in Tulsa. Abercrombie argued it rejected Ms. Eloff not because she's Muslim, but because her headscarf violated the company's look policy, which at the time banned caps. So what does the Supreme Court ruling mean? Wall Street Journal legal reporter Ashby Jones says the decision heightens the employer's duty to accommodate workers' religious practices. Even though Abercrombie and Fitch didn't know for sure that that's why she was wearing the headscarf, they had a strong suspicion that that's why she was wearing the headscarf. And that was enough, enough knowledge for them to have in order to hold them liable for discrimination. In a statement released by the EEOC, Ms. Eloff said of the ruling, Observance of my faith should not have prevented me from getting a job. I'm glad that I stood up for my rights and happy that the EEOC was there for me and took my complaint to the courts. For its part, Abercrombie & Fitch says it's considering its options for further lower court proceedings. We have made significant enhancements to our store associate policies, including the replacement of the look policy with a new dress code that allows associates to be more individualistic, changed our hiring practices to not consider attractiveness, and changed store associates' titles from model to brand representative. Justice Scalia wrote the majority decision. The court's sole dissent, Justice Thomas wrote, Abercrombie's dress code was a neutral policy not intended to discriminate on religion and therefore was lawful. He really sort of agreed with the lower court. The lower court said, no, you've, you've got to require that a company know um, that a person is wearing a headscarf or behaving in a certain way because of his or her religion. Since being rejected by Abercrombie, Ms. Eloff has worked at other retailers like Old Navy and Forever 21. She is currently a merchandising manager at Urban Outfitters.